Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So this video is actually a special request from one of my lovely longtime subscribers. Hey, LaMonica. So as we all know, a healthy head of hair starts with a healthy scalp. No matter the length, thickness, hair type, curl pattern, if you have colored, chemically processed hair, whatever. No matter what you've got going on up top here, it all starts with a healthy and happy scalp. And even going beyond healthy hair care, taking care of your scalp is really important because it's a part of our skin that is often neglected. I've gathered here today a ton of my favorite products that I use. So I really hope that some of these are helpful if you're looking for some new products to integrate into your routine to really take your scalp care up a notch. And I kind of have my products categorized a little bit different than I would in some of my other big old bring a bunch of brands together videos because some of these are seasonal products and some of these I'm not sure if they're even making them anymore so I'm gonna make sure to pronounce the name of the brand and the product nice and clear so if you want to do some further research on the ones that at the time of this video I'm not so sure about you'll be able to do so so we're gonna jump in with the category of products that as of right now I know that they're still available on the company's website so the first that I have here is kind of like a replacement for another product that I haven't used yet but I anticipate that based on the awesome ingredients and how comparable they are that I love it just as much. This is the Planted Hair Care Ayurvedic Black Soap Shampoo and I got this last year during Black Friday and you guys will see it probably in an empties video this year because I'm, I'm at the little last tail end of it but one of my go-to shampoos that I use is a black soap shampoo from a company called Sisters Keeper. Unfortunately the company is no longer in business so although I'm going to miss that one when it's all gone I think this one from Planted Hair Care is going to do a fantastic job. I use a ton of products on wash day. My hair is a tight where a dab will not do yet. No we need like handfuls of product so when wash day rolls around I have a good amount of product buildup sweat all that fun stuff that goes on in between wash days so black soap shampoos are like none other at being able to really get my hair and scalp super super clean without stripping everything away and this one in particular not only has an awesome mix of Ayurvedic ingredients which have been renowned for thousands of years for how good they are for your scalp it's also got various oils to help to feed your scalp nourishment that way so I'm really excited to jump into this one soon now of course like La Monica if you guys have been with me for a while you know how I feel about Sorenzo Beauty. Sorenzo Beauty is a brand that I have been using now for almost 10 years. The first product from them that really kind of changed the game for me when it came to how I look at detoxing my hair is their clay wash. Often duplicated but never replicated. Since I've tried this one, Sorenzo Beauty has come out with tons of other varieties. I think that my current favorite is the fenugreek and rice water. I cannot find that one in my stash. I'm currently in the process of preparing to go out of town so I'm trying to pre-film a few videos before then and I've got like a day and a half before we leave so my goal is to have a good amount of videos so I don't miss my weekly schedule while I'm gone for however long so I couldn't find that one but if you see the fenugreek and rice water clay wash on Sorenzo Beauty's website know that that is a certified Ashkins Curls it. It's so good. I've said a ton over the years if my hair isn't feeling right, if all my other products just aren't performing, if I have a weird film on my hair, the other cleansers just aren't doing the trick. I will use one of the clay washes from Sorenzo Beauty and it really helps to detox my hair and my scalp. My scalp feels so refreshed and soft and looks so clear after I use one of these. It's awesome. Ah! No. So over my decade plus of being natural, I have tried more clay washes than I could count. They would maybe leave my hair feeling good, but on the same coin, I would have this weird buildup on my hair and have a weird kind of buildup on my scalp as well, which totally defeats the purpose of doing a detox. So no matter how much I rinse or if I use the apple cider vinegar type of emulsion afterwards to try to knock it off my hair and scalp, it wouldn't work. But Sorenzo Beauty's clay washes are different. I can get the same awesome benefits of clays in my routine without having to worry about that weird buildup afterwards. So moving on from our scalp friendly cleansers, we're going to jump into deep conditioning. I like to get my products on my scalp. I like the benefits of whatever I'm using to extend beyond just my hair. I really want to get it to like the source, to like the active where everything's happening to my scalp. When I'm applying my deep conditioner, I like to make sure that I am applying it to every square millimeter of my hair and inadvertently my scalp is going to get some love too. And one of my favorites, I haven't really talked about Sultanicals much lately on my channel, but if you guys have seen my big old stash video, you know that I have a sizable portion of stuff from Sultanicals. My hair responds well to them and my scalp does as well. And one of the last products that I did a whole dedicated review on from Sultanicals is their Hibiscus Hair Healer 
healthy scalp therapy mask. We talking about the scalp right in the title. And out of all the deep conditioners that Sultanicals has come out with so far that I've tried, this is my favorite one. It not only does a great job on my hair, the hibiscus in it even tints my hair like a little bit of red, which is someone who is now all up into the henna world I absolutely love. But the fact that it's also good for your scalp is another selling point for me. One of the ingredients is Moroccan clay and it says here that it detoxifies and deep cleanses the scalp and hair. So speaking of henna, this one is a little bit strange because I think I'm in the minority for sure. I have poured over the Curly Proverbs website before I eventually went ahead and made my first purchase with them last summer. And I actually did a henna treatment yesterday. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but as part of my vacation hair prep, I want to make sure I gave my color a refresh because I had some grays coming in. But this is freshly hennaed hair as of like, 24 hours ago. So I mainly use henna for its color benefits. I We're going to talk more about it because I'm going to be doing a, a year after using henna video this year, but one of the main things people love about henna and this brand in particular, Curly Proverbs, is the benefits for your scalp. My favorite that I think I'm going to be going with as my main from here on out is the Pro Strip Henna Powder from Curly Proverbs. If you guys saw I posted about her sale, you guys know I stocked up big time. So I should be good on this for a year or more after my order comes in. And the second one that I have here is her Henna and Aloe Mask. I've done full videos on both of these. I've used them both in henna glosses as well as used the powders to create a mask. But I'll make sure to link both of those in the description box if you want to see exactly how I do that process. But if you look on the Curly Proverbs website, you will see so many reviews and testimonials of people who've had thinning hair or who've had dry flaky scalp issues who have used these and have had great results. It is hot out here. This is not highlight y'all. This is just good old sweat. Next in this category is all about oils and I'm an oil girl. I love oils. This oil ends up in so many of my favorite videos. This is a melanin hair care multi-use pure oil blend. This is a fantastic very lightweight oil that really helps me with any itchiness that I have but also just soothing my scalp in general especially when I wear my hair straight. This oil is one of my go-to's. It doesn't build up and when I wear my hair straight I go for at least two months at a time usually and of course when my hair is straight I'm trying to avoid moisture at any and all costs to make all that effort worth it so although I'm not getting the benefit of moisture I like the fact that I have oils like this to rely on to still feed my scalp the nourishment that it needs in the meantime before going back to curly and here's my goodie from naturally Adabella. this is their nourish scalp oil and the thing that's special about this one is that it has oils in here that a lot of my others in my collection don't that are targeted targeted specifically to scalp health. For example, I think this is my only oil if I've mentioned in previous videos that has onion seed oil in there. We've got mustard seed oil and pumpkin seed oil which have different amino acids I believe. So while this oil gives me really nice shine in my hair, I really like to focus this one more so on my scalp to really let those more scalp centric benefits just get right at the root <laughs> literally and figuratively. And it also says in the bottle here that the passion fruit, mustard seed oil, and hemp seed oil help to promote stronger follicles. So long lasting healthy hair care really starts at the follicular level. Is that a word? I think it is. Follicular? Follicular? Hey Siri, is follicular a word? Okay. I found this on the web first. Yay! Time. I've been rocking with this oil for so long. They've even changed the packaging now since this last bottle. So I hope the ingredients are still the same. And it's the Eden Body Works Peppermint and Tea Tree Oil. Since this bottle, they got this cute little mint green packaging now. This is one of their vintage bottles that I rely on heavily again when my hair is straight. Luckily, I don't experience any itchiness until maybe around the one and a half month mark of having my hair straight. Not only do I reach for this because it leaves my hair blindingly shiny, especially on straight hair, it really helps to reflect that shine. But also because the mint in this is so potent that it just calms those itchies right on down and it feels so good. I experienced so much new growth in the time period where I keep my hair straight in the fall. And one of the reasons that I think that is is because I really pay a lot of attention to my scalp during that period. I'm able to detangle a lot more thoroughly. So all that mixed together, my hair and scalp are in a lot better condition and the last of my can usually get these products anytime section is the defunct from uncle funky's daughter i made a whole video about how i take care of my hair when i'm like heavily into working out and this was one of the mainstays in my routine as the name says right here it's really good for helping to remove that like old stale hair kind of scent that you can get after working out also if you're around people who are smoking or if you're like at a cookout or something this is like febreze for your hair the lavender in this really helps to neutralize those other scents this is another product 
eye that I focus more so on my scalp exclusively. It doesn't really do much as far as moisture on my actual hair, but as far as my scalp is so, so soothing. Oh, those bugs are doing something. <laughs> this next section is generally the seasonal section. These products, except for one because it's brand new and this is its first debut year, I don't know when it's going to come or it might still be available on the website, but these are products that I've seen return over the years. It's mostly Sultanicals. If you guys are familiar with them, they are famous for their seasonal collections, seasonal products. So if you get something from them and you fall in love with it, you just got to kind of keep your fingers crossed that it comes back. With some of these, it's kind of easy to predict when they'll come back, but some others, not not so much. The first that I have here is their Afro Cider Twist Curl Refreshing Mist. This has apple cider vinegar as well as brown rice syrup. And I am someone who cannot do apple cider vinegar. It just doesn't work for me. It dries out my hair. It doesn't feel good no matter how much I dilute it. I don't get all the shine and magic that a lot of other people seem to get. So the only way that I've had success with apple cider vinegar, if it is mixed in with other ingredients, and this is my favorite one. I feel like I get the benefits of apple cider vinegar on my hair and scalp without the smell because it smells like apple cinnamon cider. It is fall in a bottle. It is one of my best smelling products that I have in my collection. I stocked up during the last time they had this, so this is brand new. I'll probably be busting this out in the fall this year. The apple cider vinegar is the fourth ingredient, so it's pretty high up on the list. It's also infused with hibiscus leaves, which are really good for your hair and scalp as well. Pomegranate seed oil and cinnamon powder, which a lot of people have used to accelerate hair growth in various recipes. They put it in their deep conditioner or they put it in their Ayurvedic mixes. So this has a really nice mix of stuff. So if you're looking for this, they generally come out with this in the fall so keep an eye out then another one from sultanicals that i cannot predict when it comes i think i've only had this twice before but this is their dash the ash hair and body butter it has cocoa butter mango butter and castor oil and it is a really nice firm butter as you can see I like to use this mostly to slick my hair back, but because of the ingredients, again, I like to make sure I get this on my scalp as well because it's very nourishing. As far as the ingredients, we've got shea butter, mango butter, castor oil, which is one that we've heard about tons and tons over the years for being good for thinning hair, starting right at that scalp level. It's also got avocado oil as well as aloe vera juice, which is something that you don't normally see in butters. So in addition to giving me that smoothing, that little hit of aloe vera. And last from Sultanicals is a product that I haven't tried, but I wanted to mention this since this is a big old encompassing detox scalp health video and I remember seeing a ton of really good reviews on this this is usually released in the spring and I haven't been on their website like that recently so I don't know if this is actually permanent now I know a lot of people loved it so I kind of thought in my mind that it would become permanent eventually but this is their sprout follicular rice Tonics. When this item was seasonal, it was usually released in the spring, kind of like a renewing type of collection, renewing your hair and scalp, new growth. This one is also infused with Ayurvedic ingredients. We're seeing a theme here. Scalp health and Ayurveda, as I mentioned, are intrinsically tied. They go really, really well together. And this one really has some heavy claims. It says that this fermented rice grain and Ayurvedic hair and scalp tonic is formulated to promote cell regeneration, shield against damage, nourish the hair follicles, improve hair elasticity, creating more body, fullness, and healthy growth. So since I haven't tried this, I'd like to know from you guys, if you have, what did you think about it? Did you notice a lot of benefits to your hair and scalp afterwards? I am curious. I really want to strengthen and fortify my hair in the next couple of months before straightening because I feel like my hair and I have had like a rocky little year so far. So I want to go into my straight hair season with my hair and scalp as healthy as possible. And last in my seasonal section is this new scalp scrub from Sorenzo Beauty. Beauty. This is her Tulsi scalp scrub. I don't know, as I mentioned, if this is still available on the website. This was a part of the spring and summer collection. And so many of you guys absolutely loved this collection from Sorenzo Beauty. She sold out of stuff all throughout the past couple of months. So that's why I don't know if this is still available. My first experience with a scalp scrub was from a brand that shall not be named on this channel, but I did have a really positive experience. I was having a lot of persistent itchiness with my scalp. I want to say like a year ago, and no matter what shampoos I use, what detoxes, nothing would really make it go away. But using a scalp scrub, like those actual exfoliators, this one is 
sugar based I believe yep first ingredient is sugar and then it's infused with a ton of different Ayurvedic ingredients as well as oils to make it very gentle while using it on your scalp that oil not only helps provide nourishment but also creates a nice emulsion and barrier from the actual sugar on your scalp so you're getting exfoliation on your scalp it's not creating micro tears which are bad news bears when it comes to scalp health but if you might be able to see the sugar is so finely milled in this one and the one that I used previously the granules were a lot bigger so I had to be a little bit more gentle when applying it to my scalp that first experience with the scalp scrub knocked out my itchiness my dry skin and product buildup I'm sure that this Tulsi scalp scrub will do a great job as well and last but not least this is my little like mystery section one of these products I know it's not gonna be available after like the next week so if you guys see this video definitely check this out if it sounds interesting to you I know that when I did my haul for this company back in January of this year I ordered from them for the first time for Black Friday and UPS totally jacked up my package so she had to resend it she's so sweet but the owner of this company Shea by Nay a lot of you said you were really really interested in this product when I showed it and since I've been using it, it is already on my HG list this is her the Big L moisture spray look at that gorgeous color oh I just love that and as I mentioned if you see this video soon you will only be able to get this for um, I don't know how long she's having this sale but Shea by Nay is going out of business so if you see this and you like it it will I think be 50% off so my plan is for this video to come out tomorrow and her sale starts next week the last full week of July 2022 so if you check my community tab I'm sure once we get into that zone I will have posted something about it but I'll also try to post it right here as well so you guys can see the details because this is like a time sensitive type of thing but the big L oh my goodness not only does this make my hair feel amazing but it feels so good on my scalp look at the ingredients oh it has so much scalp friendly stuff in there it has aloe vera juice which on its own has so many different nutrients and vitamins I think when I did my aloe vera video um, for my challenge this year they've got like 70 different nutrients just in aloe vera and that's the first thing in the ingredient list we've got burdock root marshmallow root that hibiscus tea rosemary another one that's known to be really good for hair growth now this brand is not shy to go on a nice long hiatus this is the brand curly AF curly AF is on Etsy and I think they have an alert where if a brand goes on hiatus for a little bit you can get an alert when they come back or you can check her out on social media but this is her Shea Bay butter for extreme growth it's a shea butter infused kokum butter with honey and shea bay of course and this is a nice thick 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 butter so because this is such a thicky thick butter I don't use this to seal wet hair I again concentrate this one mainly on my scalp perfect opportunity is when I am smoothing my hair back or smoothing my hair into a bun or something this is a great way for me to get rid of flyaways but also feed my scalp some good stuff as well this does have vegetable glycerin honey and aloe vera juice so it does have some moisturizing ingredients mixed in with the oils and butters it says that the benefits of this is that it is good for hair growth strength is a natural sunblock it helps to moisturize hair repair damaged hair and tame frizz this is what it looks like nice firm shea butter blend she has so many different Ayurvedic infused oils but her most popular one is this one the Shea Bay Sativa so I use this like I would any other oil but I do concentrate it more so on my scalp and last but not least I do not know if this product is on the market anymore but it is one that I've used specifically and exclusively for scalp health so if it sounds interesting to you definitely give it a Google to see if it is but I haven't seen it in the stores in a long time but it might just be exclusively on their website now who knows but this is the as I am long in luxe scalp serum strengthening hair treatment this product and this line the long and luxe line used to be in Target I have a lot of crown breakage like right here and pretty much my whole I can feel it actually I was using this for a good while I wasn't as consistent as I probably needed to be but I was more consistent than I usually am oh my gosh ah. so the applicator is literally a little dropper and then you just squeeze the product onto your scalp in a concentrated area it says that it has biotin phytosterols, aloe vera, pomegranate juice, pomegranate butter, and some palmetto to help rejuvenate the scalp for healthier and longer hair. 
moisturizes and soothes the scalp leaving it clear and healthy it says that you're supposed to apply this twice a day to the affected area for best results I wouldn't hit that twice a day mark I would do maybe every couple days when I thought about it looking back I do think I noticed some improvement I definitely need to integrate this back into my routine since I don't have that much longer before I'm gonna be straightening my hair in the grand scheme of things it's already the end of July and I usually do that around October 1st of November so I need to get going on this healthy scalp healthy hair like overdrive basically so these are my current scalp health and detox recommendations favorites thank you guys again so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it helps with my channel big time lets youtube know that you liked it so that it'll promote it to other people and help my channel grow likewise if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well that would be so awesome and i would love to have you i plan to still have my weekly uploads even though i'll be out of town for a little bit remember that i upload videos usually every friday every now and again i'll have a surprise bonus video so make sure you have those post notifications notifications turned on just click that little bell I will see you all in the next one take care guys bye